Hi, my name is Dr. Joe Leach. I'm a medical oncologist. I practice at Alina Health Cancer Institute in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And today I'm gonna to talk about how we treat small cell lung cancer. Small cell lung cancer is a very specific type of lung cancer. It's less common than the other types of lung cancer, which we refer to as non-small cell lung cancer. What makes small cell lung cancer unique is number one, it tends to be more aggressive than non-small cell lung cancer. So it tends to grow faster and tends to spread outside of the chest more rapidly. And number two, it tends to be very sensitive to some of the types of treatments that we use. Now, one of the other things that makes small cell lung cancer unique is that we generally don't recommend surgery. And so the times that we do surgery would be if someone has surgery for a lung nodule and we find out after the fact they had small cell lung cancer, or if we find it when it is very small. But in general, we don't recommend surgery for small cell lung cancer. And so the treatments that we do recommend for small cell lung cancer depend on whether it's confined to the chest or whether it's spread to other parts of the body. When it's confined to the chest, we refer to that as limited stage small cell lung cancer. And the best treatment for that is a combination of chemotherapy given in combination with radiation at the same time. After that treatment is done, which typically takes about three months, we then recommend treating with immunotherapy, which gets the immune system to try to fight the cancer for a couple of years after that treatment is done. When people have cancer that is spread outside of the chest, we call that extensive stage small cell lung cancer. And when that's the case, radiation is really not the best upfront treatment. And in that setting, we generally recommend treating with chemotherapy, but we add the immunotherapy together with the chemotherapy at the same time, rather than giving it afterwards, like we do in limited stage small cell lung cancer. Now, radiation can play a role in extensive stage small cell lung cancer, but we generally do that after someone has been on the medications first to shrink the cancer. And then we often will come back and either radiate any areas that are still remaining, or sometimes we recommend doing something called prophylactic cranial radiation. And that's a treatment where we actually do low dose radiation to the brain to prevent the cancer from coming back in that area because small cell lung cancer not only has a tendency to spread, but really likes to spread to the brain. And so it's important to try to prevent that if we can. Now, unfortunately, even after we do these treatments, the cancer can come back or show up in other areas. In that setting, there are additional medications that we can use. Historically, we've used other types of chemotherapy, but a newer treatment that has really changed the way we think about small cell lung cancer is a new type of immunotherapy, a drug called tarlatumab, which is a targeted antibody that basically pulls the immune system in to fight the cancer. And that has showed a lot of promise in treating recurrent small cell lung cancer and has been approved by the FDA.